Hi, I'm Devin from Archer Components. Uh, we just got back from a ride. Simon and Ian damn near killed us, but we had a good time. We're out here in Santa Cruz, uh, just outside in the legal riding area of UC Santa Cruz. Sanctioned legal riding, of course. Um, so what we've got here is the D1X uh, shifting system from Archer Components. Archer's been around for about two years. We've been working on building this product. It's a wireless shifter that works with any drivetrain, any setup, any cassette. Um, the shifter's been out on the market for about two months or so, and uh, you can definitely find us at archercomponents.com. The D1X retails for $389. We also have some drivetrain packages there for sale that can get you some good discounts. Uh, we want to get more shifters on more bikes. We want to make sure that you have the flexibility to do wireless shifting, electronic shifting on any setup. Um, yeah, I guess we're here really to break up some of the stranglehold that SRAM and Shimano have on the drivetrain market. There's a lot of cool stuff that we can do with bikes and uh, we're, here to, we're here to do them. How, how many iterations of the product did it take to get it to where it is today? I would say we've worked on this thing, man, I think we've put probably about 500 different revs into this thing. We went through multiple different protocols and communication stacks, different motors and transmissions, different ways to move the derailleur and get this thing to work the way it does. Um, this thing has been tested out on the trails here in Santa Cruz and San Luis Obispo for quite a few months by a number of people. Really getting it to a point where it can stand up to the, you know, the brutality of mountain biking and taking rocks and branches and whatever you can throw at it. But yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty mature product for our first product that's out there. We are working on some other stuff. Hopefully you'll see a lot of us. Sweet. You want to give us a rundown of how it works, what the motor is, what the, what, how, how long the batteries last, how the, um, the uh, shifter works with the, um, the controller and how everything pairs together? So the product's called the D1X or the Digital one by Drivetrain. It's a small shifter that connects to your derailleur. And that shifter is programmable, so it works with any type of cassette or any derailleur. There's an app that you use to set up the shifter. You tell it how many gears you've got, and then you set each one of your shift points individually. So we don't have a barrel adjuster. There's no way to move the entire system forward and aft or inbound or outbound. Each shift point is set individually along our, uh, our motor line. So once you're set up and you've got all your shift points set, then you've got a remote on your handlebar that's wirelessly connected using Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, it's an encrypted connection between the shifter and the remote, so you're not going to be shifting your buddy's bike or getting any interference with your heart rate monitor or anything like that. Batteries are lithium rechargeable, uh, AA size batteries. They last about 30 hours of runtime. There's a low power setting that gets you about 40 or sorry 50 hours of runtime, but you do lose the auto shutdown feature and the get me home gear for the system. You want to tell us about the get me home gear? It's so pretty sweet. Give me home gear. Um, you know, a lot of people are concerned about battery life. When you put something like this on your bike, you're like, well, shit, what happens if uh, my, my system runs out of batteries? So when the voltage drops down to a critical level, meaning that the batteries are almost out of juice, we shift the unit to a predetermined gear that you set up in the app. And so it, its last dying breath is to get you into that gear, and that's your give me home gear. So you can pedal home safely, even if you run out of batteries. Like I said, the batteries are you know, trail serviceable. You can keep an extra set in your pack pretty easily. They're pretty small and light. And so you shouldn't really have any power problems. Cool. There's also that um, Simon and I were chatting on the way up the trail. Um, I thought it was kind of cool. You can switch. It's, it's pretty programmable. Like you can switch uh, which uh, button is the up shift, which is down. You want to run through that real quick? Right. So yeah, we really started out with a very fundamental shifting system. When we got going, we stripped away at all the other extraneous ideas and things that we wanted to do, and we really got a very basic system. It shifted up and shifted down. That was it. And from there, we started to build in features and additional stuff, because when you've got the technology, you just kind of start playing around with it. So one of the things we added was the ability to flip the shifter buttons. So it comes default. The left button is easier, and the right button is harder. You can flip that up. Um, you can also set quick shift, which jumps a number of gears in either direction, and that's you can set three gears up and two gears down, um, and set the duration that you have to press the button down to engage quick shift. 
all of that is programmable in the app. So we really tried to add some additional features to make it uh, kind of fun to use and configurable for however you ride.